Hi everyone, and thank you for joining us for the second module of Creating a Jupiter Book with the Turing Way. This module is an introduction to the Turing Way with me, Kirsty Whitaker, and the program lead for Tools, Practices and Systems at the Allen Turing Institute. And I'm also the founder and project lead for the Turing Way. The Turing Way is an open source book project that involves and supports a diverse research community in ensuring that reproducible and ethical data science is accessible and comprehensible for everyone. If you're here, you've almost certainly used Excel, and if you've used Excel, you've almost certainly selected the wrong cells when you've tried to calculate a value. I spend a lot of time thinking about how these unintended errors propagate through academic research and some of the real world effects that those errors can have. A really famous example is this one of economists Reinhardt and Rogoff, who it turned out had missed some of the countries when they had calculated measures to advocate for austerity after the 2008 financial crisis and our last global recession. The only reason that anyone found out about these errors was because Thomas Hernandon, who was a graduate student at the time, had a assignment in one of his classes to reproduce a published finding. He had to email the authors, get their data, and dig in with quite a lot of tenacity to understand why his results were different to theirs. They were not reproducible, and they had a major impact on the most vulnerable people around the world. So it's great, we should all be reproducible. Sure, absolutely. But as you start to think about being reproducible across the whole of the research life cycle, you realize just how many steps there are in that process. You have to be reproducible at data collection, data processing, study and analysis, how you publish that information, how you preserve your data, how you make sure that it's available for reuse to stimulate new research ideas and take you right back around that cycle again to plan a new question, collect some data and process it. It's super overwhelming and the Turing Way is here to help you learn the skills that you need for each of those different steps as you develop. And Jupiter Book in particular is here to help you publish your findings and share them in an interactive way. The Turing Way started out as a handbook focused on reproducibility, but we expanded last year to include chapters on how to design your project, making sure that it is inclusive and reproducible from the beginning, how to communicate your work effectively to diverse audiences, how to embed ethical values in everything that we do, and my personal favorite, to think about how we collaborate with each other. The principles that we follow are the Mozilla Open Leadership Principles of making sure that the work is accessible and clear, that it is easy to adapt, reproduce and spread, and that we build shared ownership and agency to make the work inviting and sustainable for all. On the right hand side here are some of the Turing's rules of the game, our interpersonal values that everyone in our community is expected to follow. We want to trust each other, to be transparent in our decision making, to be inclusive, behave with integrity, to respect each other, and to show leadership in our respective communities as we display these values and show them. What I've done is take the values and think about how they can be baked into the open infrastructure that we're creating. We want to make sure that we have trustworthy systems, transparent and reproducible reporting, inclusive, interoperable ecosystems, thinking about maintaining our ethical integrity, respectfully co-creating with each other, and demonstrating leadership in open research. I have this image here of ants because I'm always inspired by how, by working together, the ants can create something emergent, something that is greater than the sum of its parts. And I'm so glad that each of you are here to join the Turing Way community, the Jupiter Book community, and the Jupiter Con community, because I know we all are following these values as best we can. Thank you. I hope you really enjoy the rest of the tutorial and please let us know if we have any questions along the way. <laughs>